Well, would you look at that? Hey guys, <clears throat> um, I took the fender and the headlight and put them on, and the hood may or may not need to be replaced, but I did, um, the, all I did was change the hood, or sorry, the fender and the headlight, and uh, if I can get around here, get a better shot, the vehicle looks like a hundred times better than it did because that fender was all caved in, the headlight was smashed, it, the, the grill was hanging out because it, the bottom pops in and it had popped out, so it really looked like crap, but it's starting to shape up a little bit. So the fender, or uh, sorry, the front bumper cover, um, it's damaged there. The door is damaged right behind the fender there. I don't know if you can see that or not right now, but I might get a close-up on it later. The mirror was smashed. I changed it. Um, the hubcap was missing, and I thought, oh, the hubcap's missing. That's no big deal. But it is a big deal because I found the camber, the camber is out of whack a little bit. So... I don't know if you can tell or not. It's not really out that that far. It's not really that bad, but the camber is out. So the the wheel, the top of the wheel is pushed in a little bit. And uh underneath, I checked underneath and uh all the suspension components seem to be pretty fine, pretty good. But, uh, excuse my stuffed up nose. But anyway, um, the strut here goes between the wheel bearing and the lower control arm and uh, the strut tower. That's where your suspension is there, your spring and shock. Um, I think the strut has a bit of a bow to it. So I think the accident, when the, when the collision happened, I think it banged into the wheel too. That's why the hubcap's missing, and that's why the camber's out. So I'm going to have to replace that strut and uh, maybe send it in for an alignment, depending on how bad the camber is. And uh, Yeah, so I'm kind of happy with uh, the fact that it's all complete and not smashed. So uh, if the headlight was buffed up a bit... That might pass uh, certification now. So, uh, but if you want it to look better, which I kind of do, I might have to get more color matching paint and sand down the hood. I don't know what happened there. Somebody did some f body fill there or something. It wasn't me. That's the way I got it. And uh, the front bumper cover, if you wanted it to look real good, you, I could replace the front bumper cover, and I might... I was just really wanting to get a color matching one because the paint process it was a pain in the ass with the fender and it still didn't turn out perfect. It turned out decent, but it didn't turn out perfect. And the door, you can see the door's got a little bit of a damage to it too, but I'm uh I'm sort of happy with it. With just for what work I've done. You can tell it's well on the right angle, or if I told you, you could tell that it, the fender's been painted and changed. But anyway, that's just an update on that uh, on that project. And uh, I'm gonna do an another update video for the the chicken feeder, the chicken feeder that uh, that I was working on. I'm gonna do another update video for that because. Uh, I put a third feeder slot in it, and uh, you can check that out too. Anyway, see you next time.